Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Two Worlds 2. Sir, please. I have no food. Ah, more people begging. My husband begging. left to work in the mines, but I haven't heard from him for quite some time now. Anything you could spare? I suppose. Yes, yeah, take this meat. You need it more than me. Oh, thank the gods. Thanks to you, today my children won't go to bed hungry. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Well, if you were better looking... I don't have much hey. to offer, with the exception of information. No one in all of Bayon is as familiar with the area as me. So, if you need anything, please feel free to ask. Good to know. I was actually looking to find out who's in charge here. Alima, our leader. If things continue on like this, someone's bound to tear her horses apart. I only hope whoever does shares some of the meat with me. Where can I find this, Alima? Not far from here at all. It's the only house with a fence and horses. You can't miss it. Okay, good to know. Looks useful. There we go. This lock picking is like really easy. I have barely broken any lock picks. I assume? You could say that. Glad to have you. If you're looking to gamble, this here's the hottest dice table east of the lion. He's a liar! Cheating son of a bitch took me for everything I had! You keep your mouth shut. I run an honest game here. It's not my problem he likes to get drunk and bet carelessly. Is gambling legal out here? Of course. You can find tables and players all over Aramos. Hell, I can't think of a single place in all of Antelor where players don't gather around the tables just like this one and try their hand at a good old game of dice. Thanks I don't like invitation. gambling. No thanks. Maybe next time. Gambling's not my thing. Okay, but be sure to stop by before you leave. You never know when the table's gonna be hot. We'll see. Beautiful day for a burial. Looking for a traditional funeral for you or a family member? I'm having a special. <laughs> Sick bastard. Afraid not. Not today, at least. Well, then you've come to the wrong place, my friend. Today, at least. Never seen you around here before. You look healthy. Where are you headed? That's a lot of questions, friend. But I'm headed north. Well, then perhaps this is fate. I have a delivery to be made near Hatmandor. Perhaps you might make it for me? I could use the auras, but what's the package? <laughs> it's a funny story to say the least. A few weeks ago, our leader sent a carrier pigeon to Hatmandor to get relief supplies for the drought. And the Merchants Guild sent a messenger. So, you have supplies on the way? Eh, yeah, not sure. Before he could say anything, the poor bastard stopped to take a piss. Right on the grave of a Sambu's son. Oh. Before anyone could say a word, Sambu just grabbed his spade and, well... 
You've got to be kidding. Wish I were. Sent a second carrier pigeon to inform the guild. They told us they won't offer any help until we return the head to his family. The head? Cut it clean off. <laughs> we already delivered the body, but it wasn't enough. The family is donating the remains to the Imperial Necromancers. Had to tangle with a couple vultures to get it back. Don't know if I have another trip in me. But to be honest, despite the job, they're not exactly my kind of people. If it's on the way, then it doesn't really make sense not to. You have the makings of a promising gravedigger. Take this, the head is inside. Deliver it to Gazan in the last meeting funeral home. Sounds good. And one more thing before you go. As you probably know, the gates on the way to Hatmandor are still closed. But some time ago, a man skilled in forging official documents moved to Bayan. Heard him referred to as Tome the Scribe. Usually, he spends his days lounging on a bench near his house in the village. Tell him that the last summer was rainy, and he'll consider helping you get through those gates. Okay. So, we've got somebody named Tome the Scribe to talk to. I believe he was back here. Yes? What do you want? What do you think about this weather? The last summer was rainy. <laughs> It's been quite some time since I've heard those words. I was beginning to think all my old clients were dead. <laughs> what can I do for you? I need proper documentation to get through the gates to Hatmandor, and I hear you're the man to talk to. I'm afraid those days are behind me, son. I lost everything when the Imperial Guard raided my home and burned it to the ground. Without my equipment, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What if I were to get your things back? In that case, I wouldn't be opposed to a short break in retirement. What do you need? All I need is, is my old inkwell. It's filled with a, a very rare Imperial Crimson ink that I'll need to legitimize your writ of protection. There's no way of knowing whether it survived the fire, but, but if you're lucky, you'll find it amidst the remains of my home on the savannah. I'll see what I can do. All right, then. First, it's time for shopping. Welcome, sir. I know you'll not leave unsatisfied.
Okay, I'm just I'm just deciding what to get. Sorry, it's taken so long. Be sure to come again next week to see our new stock. Can't really do much now, but uh whatever Excuse you me. want, whatever you need, you'll find it all right here and right now. Hello! Take a look at all we have to offer. I'm sure you'll find something that catches your eye. I can't really do much. Uh, sorry. So let's go out into the world for a little bit and Wow, that guy just doesn't This is the wrong place to go out. I was thinking more of Holy cow, he's following you. Don't hide forever! Huh. What, what's he doing? Let's see. That was a baboon. I thought that was a hyena. 